All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. This is Crypto HD. I hope you guys are doing awesome. We're just going to continue right here with episode 9. And eventually, we're going to continue tracking all these bounties for that came with update 17. So as usual, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, leave a like. Definitely, I'll really appreciate that. And if you want to see more of gaming content on State of Decay 2 and more news as well, consider subscribing to this gaming channel. Can you get over here right now? We need help. Our neighbors just stole every scrap of medicine we had. How are we supposed to put up with this? I'm diving into this shit as of now. What this town needs is law and order. We can't stand by and watch bullshit like this happen. Oh, that's a sure thing. Don't kick it out on me. We can beat this. Oh, You'll look at that. If I wish you zero luck. I don't know, I'm gonna have to find a way to escape eventually, but I just wanna to talk to Cash for Mont. Yeah, so now I've also finally got uh, the the revolver and uh, the anniversary cake oven, so I'm definitely going to try that. And then was this kill six screamers with heavy you weapon, I think I, I can well track it. For this. And then, uh, what else? Create three bloaters if with explosive, because why not? Alright, so the reason why I'm going uh, very, very, very low is eventually I want to avoid any sort of unnecessary combat at the moment. <laughs> I do not have uh, the time and patience for that. Hey, don't blow it with these dudes. They like us. Okay, so first thing first, we need to talk to talk to Fuzzy about the theft, and then we can talk to Serafina or Beak. But unfortunately. I'm so far away from, from my home base, uh, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah, so let's try to explore and see what's available. First thing for I'm going to drop. <laughs> I'm going to drop all this facility. Come on. Alright, so... Alright, so I have this FPS problem again. Alright, so give me a few seconds. I'm just uh, quickly going to change the settings. Alright, so sorry about that. I think it's gonna get a lot better now. Okay, so can I really try this? Uh, he has a professional break. Okay, first thing first, I'm gonna drop this. Maybe I'm also gonna change uh, this one so that we can finally try the cake. I really wanna, I really wanna see how it looks like. Alright, so it's gonna take two minutes. I think maybe in the meantime, I'm just gonna be exploring uh, the surrounding buildings. I really love how this weapon looks. Can we even see it? Oh boy. I wish we had uh, a free camera All clear. Uh, for this game, but unfortunately we don't. This that would have handy. really been a lot easier in case uh, we want to take photos of objects and all that. Seriously, that's it? Oh boy, don't tell me this horde is coming here. Ah, come on. Alright, so it says 3 out of 4, so there's something that I'm missing, but I just From can't what tell. We can put together, the outbreak wasn't a singular event. It was actually many separate occurrences across many locations. We're not yet sure what that means. Alright guys, so you know what's gonna go down eventually? I'm gonna have to take it, I'm gonna have to take them down. Wait, where's my vehicle? My vehicle is right here. <laughs> this is a bad idea. It is a really bad idea. Come on, can you just please get away? I do not have enough ammo, unfortunately, to take down these two jugs, so... I'm going to avoid combat at all costs. And normally if I say if I stay crashed they shouldn't be able to see me, right? At least that's what I'm that's what I'm expecting.
All right, bring it on, Jugs. <laughs> All right, so now the cake oven is ready. So I just want to see if this is going to work against Juggernaut as well. Oh boy, that is, that is so costly. So two ammo, uh, two, uh, two fuel, and then one food unit. It's fine, I'll do this. And then we'll see how that goes then. Uh, where's this Mr. Cake? I really want to try it, and then in case I get attacked by these jugs, I can easily take them down. Oh, come on, Fel. Feli, come on, Felipe. This is gonna go bad. I don't even know what I'm using at 50 cal for, okay, for ferals, unfortunately. All I need is a weapon. Whoa, that was really stupid. I won't even lie. That was very stupid for me. There you go. Burn, Lil. We're gonna take them one by one. If that's what they want. Huh, come on. Who's laughing now? Alright, so it wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be, but we got the job done, right? I think that's the most important. Alright, so let's focus back on the objective so we need to whoa I saw something Do you mind waiting a sec? wait is he healing himself finally guys I don't know but there was something about uh, followers not healing themselves at least that's what uh, I was experiencing but now they can finally do it I'm actually really impressed <laughs> oh boy let's see and I'm gonna leave all the preppers because they have badly damage all of them so what I'm going to do I'm, good, I'm just going to equip a pistol and hopefully I can get uh, a suppressor as well actually no let me use this one since it's already internally suppressed and since it uses uh, since it, it's a revolver it cannot break at all so that's why I really like this this small pistol all right so do we have enough fuel to make it I don't think so let's just quickly refill our car then just quickly going to check on the map if I can avoid talking. Hey, uh, you mind sending a little help this way? Okay, <laughs> I even forgot what I wanted to say. So we have the rescue traders, and then you have the townies, which they need meds at the moment, and then stolen meds here as well. Wait, what am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, guys. There's just too much happening. Alright guys, so let's do this. So I'm gonna have to drive, I'm just gonna have to make a long way. I'm gonna go down here and I'm probably gonna talk to... Uh, how do, that, do I call it? Okay, I'm probably gonna stop here first. I think that should be the priority. Alright guys, so as you can see they're staying, they're staying nearby a plague heart, but I'm gonna go and take out that plague heart for now. Because that's not what I came here for. 
Uh, so where can I find uh, these lovely people? Locked. Unbelievable. You call for help and then you lock your door. I don't want to attract any zombies. That's why I'm going for this, uh, the stealthy option. Alright, so we were attacked and robbed. My friend is hurt. Can you help us get our meds back? Uh, yeah, I for sure. Agree more. I'm right behind you. I got a feeling you and me can do business. Sure, I guess so. Later. Alright, I feel like Patrick is gonna be uh, one of our newest recruits. At least that's what I, I'm assuming at the moment. But we'll see. Anything that I can collect here, I should get a wreck sack of materials, right? There we go. Maybe that will help me upgrade something I'm at my home base, hopefully. Is there anything that needs upgrade? Maybe the infirmary, yeah. Come on, guys. Guys, let's leave here. We didn't come for that. Alright, so where do we need to go? Ah, it's actually nearby. That's what I love. But first thing first, I'm gonna drop the meds here so that I can get the, the end cliff benefit. And then I'm gonna Not go and, and, and uh, challenge those you other people. Gift. Come on, where are you going? <laughs> All right, nice and easy. Hey there. Uh, who do I need to talk to? The cool thing about getting hit with new problems is that if you could share some med with your neighbor, we'll be in your debt. For sure, there are your meds. All right, let's see which bonus are they going to give us. So they are friendly at the moment. They should go to allied, right? Don't just stand out there, hon. Come on in. All right, so training and advice, which gives you plus 50%... Uh, experience rate so yeah so i'm gonna have a video that Tell is that gonna be coming this. very soon regarding all these enclave benefits so just watch out for this <laughs> locked fucking figures you know one of these places will be our last just stay cool this dump is clear the reason why I'm coming here eventually to get some uh, something that I can maybe trade uh, with my allied group right there. So we'll see. I don't need to look around here anymore. All right, so at least I have two uh, two books, uh, two collection so of nice books at least. You. I got a feeling you and me can do business. All right. There you go. I don't like the Molotov, so I won't need it anyways. And uh, yeah, she can keep the rest. We got a friendly over there. All right, that's awesome. All right, so our direction, eventually we know where to go now. It needs to be all the way here. I'm probably going to stop at my outpost uh, to make sure that I have the correct weapon. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys right now. All right, guys, so I'm at the outpost just before uh, reaching uh, the, the enemy's base. So let's see what can I actually take uh, with me. See, in terms of weapon, I really want to take something that I can easily use. Uh, something with a lot more power. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know. I, I really don't know, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take this one definitely. I'm gonna equip it there. Let's see, do I have enough? Yeah, I should have more than enough. Unfortunately, I do not have any first aid kit. So that's going to be very interesting. <laughs> Jeez, do they really have to be this noisy? Unbelievable. Alright, so we all know what's going to happen eventually. Uh, so we need to take back the meds from the Vuzigot and give them to... 
uh, I forgot the name of the other guy who asked for our help. So eventually, you're gonna have to. <laughs> eventually, we're gonna have to fight them. So that's why I'm bringing a good weapon to make sure that uh, I'm ready. Oh, come on, I got this, man. There you go. Damn it, locked. Is it just me or all the doors are locked in this session? For some reason, every door that I'm trying to open is actually, re is actually locked. Oh, come on. Hey, Lucy. Yeah, okay, hi. You must be here for our meds. Forget it. We're keeping them. <laughs> Unbelievable. If you want, if you hand over the meds you took, we can forget this happened. I think I'm gonna go with that option. Yeah, sure. Let me see. Lucy has two other people in this community. I want to see them. Alright, oh, they definitely have guns. <laughs> And then we have Dennis. I think Dennis has a pistol, maybe. Alright, so let me not be a chicken. You know what? I might probably lose Krause in here, but it's a risk I gotta take, right? Alright, let's do this. Time for you to go straight to hell. What? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? It's not fucking happening! Ugh. And there we go. Everyone's dead. Except Felipe and I. Man, that's really sad, I won't even lie. Uh, take that rucksack, please. I'll handle the rest. Alright, so we got meds as well. That's good. I'm probably gonna keep this just in case I need, uh, I need to use it uh, to trade. And then the other one who tried to shoot me. That's what you get. <laughs> Oh boy, dude, there's so much to take here. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm probably gonna leave uh, the six bag. I don't know. Maybe the seven because I never really use any seven. It's either six or eight. Ah, uh, do I even have enough space in here? Yes, I do have. Uh, you want something? Of course, give me this. I'm also going to put it in here and then I'm gonna take the final rucksack. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna forget anything. I'm actually really happy that I managed to get three different rucksacks. <laughs> and then I think I have space for one more weapon. Actually for two more, because I'm gonna carry this on my back. Uh, I'm gonna take this bag, yes, and uh, this bag as yeah, well. Yeah, no room for that. Is it? That's really sad then. Uh, what's the heaviest object that I'm actually carrying? This bag. There we go. Imagine in real life you'll be carrying several bags. <laughs> Unbelievable. And they will fit in your backpack. <laughs> a bag in a backpack. I don't know. But I guess we're not here for ultra realism. It's, it's all about the experience. I don't know about you guys, what you think about video game. Do you like them super realistic or you just uh, for you it's just about the experience that you get from the gameplay? In my opinion, it's just about the experience. So you can also leave your opinion below. I would be really curious to know what you, to hear what you guys think about it. Ah, oh, the air around these plague hearts makes my lungs burn. Alright, and my infirmary tree is upgraded, which is a good thing as well. But first, let's talk to Patrick, I think. I think that was his name. There we go. I don't see Fuzzy with you. What happened? Actually, before I recruit him, I first want to check his stats. So, again, he has an empty skill slot, which is really good for me. Then I can teach him whatever I want to teach him. And uh, health is okay. I think that's, that's fine. Uh, 
I know it's hard. If you need a new home, you could come live with us. Recruit Get your Patrick. Butt to my base. And tell him I sent you. Seriously, you're gonna love having me around. Is it? Mm hmm. All right, so let's see. Where is Mr. Patrick? So Patrick Garriott. Uh, let's see. He's a trader. Okay, lost a brother. Unfortunately, he's already bringing minus three um, a morale to our community, but also a pen baller. So, which means a morale bonus form of shooting and training facility. So that should be compensating for his other trait. But I'm sure there's still two more trait. At least one. Yeah, I think it's one more trait that can still be assigned to him. But we'll discover as we talk with him eventually. And uh, yeah, so I think everything looks good. Let's see what I can actually do here. 